Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one in Linux Games. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to run Minecraft 1.9.2 fast with no lag. This video is brought to you by Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to nixgames.com slash apex for an awesome 24 hour Minecraft server for just $3 per month. Anyway, this video also uses Optifine. Now if you don't have Optifine installed, no big deal. There's a video on your screen right now that will take you off and show you how to install Optifine. It's nice, it's quick, it's easy. I've taught almost millions of people, we're approaching that number at least, how to install Optifine. So go check that video out. I'm sure it will work for you. Nevertheless, what if you've got Optifine installed and you're good to go? Well, first off, I want to mention this. Go into Edit Profile here, right, on the Minecraft Launcher. That's where we are, Minecraft Launcher. And see how much you have in this number. For me, I have 4 gigabytes because I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. So, giving Minecraft 4 gigabytes of RAM is nothing for me. But for you, it could be. Chances are you're going to want to leave that default unless you have a computer with 16 gigabytes of RAM or more. If you have that, I would recommend upping that to uh, 2 to 4 gigabytes. Otherwise, probably leave that the same because Minecraft's done a really good job actually optimizing that and figuring out what amount of RAM is best for you. Nevertheless, I wanted to mention that for those of you who are in here with nicer systems. They're like, why is Minecraft lagging? Well, that might be why, but let's go ahead and click play. Now, if we launch in here, we'll notice one thing, and that's I have Pure BD Craft, a texture pack, awesome texture pack, installed. The problem with that is it's going to create lag in game. So, first things first, let's go disable any resource packs or texture packs we have. So, Pure BD Craft, bye bye, love it, but bye, not gonna work here. Once we've done that, we wanna jump over to video settings, and here's where things get crazy. Now, I'm going to optimize this for someone who has horrible horrible performance on Minecraft. Can't play whatsoever. If that's not you and you're just lagging a little bit, well, tweak around, right? For example, you might be able to run a render distance of not tiny. You might be able to up it to 10 or 9, right? You might be able to do that. But for this tutorial, we're going with tiny. We want frame rate unlimited. We also want fast graphics. And we want smooth lighting to be completely off. View bobbing, on, off, whatever you prefer. I prefer it off. GUI scale, GUI scale, whatever you want, but truly this right here is going to be the best performing. Truthfully, it doesn't make a big difference, but for some people it does depending on your graphics processor. So the smaller the better. However, I don't think you guys want it to be that small when I'm doing this tutorial, so we're going to go ahead and make it large. Use VBOs, whatever you want. Honestly, I think turning them off on bad systems and on on good systems is what works best. However, I've heard differently. We're going to go ahead and turn them off here. As far as brightness goes, do whatever you want. Same thing for attack indicator, it's not going to affect performance. I'm going to leave that off though. For fog, go ahead and keep that one off. For fog start, doesn't matter, you've got fog turned off. Shaders, if you haven't, just no, don't even, don't even turn, don't even do shaders if you're having lag issues. Quality, that's where you want to move next, and then we'll move over to, uh, to details there. So quality, minimap off, everything off, clear water, off, better grass, off, 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 off. Guess what? Everything's off. Turn everything on this screen off. Next, we go to details, where we want it to either be fast or off. If we have the option of turning it off, we turn it off. Otherwise, we leave it on fast. Except this. Hand item tooltips can be left on. It's going to be okay. Um, but yeah, so that's what you want to do there. Entity shadows, definitely want to turn those off. Animations, this one's easy. All off. You see pattern here? I do. Everything's gonna be off. And next we wanna, I missed performance didn't I? It's a big one. Sorry about that. On performance we want to turn smooth FPS on. What that's gonna do is stabilize your FPS. A lot of times lag is caused by spikes in FPS. So if we smooth out and stabilize your FPS, that could help that. Smooth world, that's gonna also stabilize the FPS and do all that stuff. So we wanna leave that on. Fast rendering. Now this one is on or off depending on the system you have. If you have a good graphics processing unit, good GPU, you're going to want to turn that one on. If you have it, don't have one or have an onboard one built in with your processor, probably turn that off. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. Fast math, same thing. Probably going to want to keep it on, but if you have any lag, that would be the next one I try. And chunk updates, we want to leave that at one. That's going to keep FPS higher, but make load times longer, right? So basically, it's going to take longer for your world to load, but once it loads, gonna have higher FPS. Dynamic updates, I like to keep this one on. Basically what dynamic updates does is when you're standing still, it loads more than when you're moving. That way you can move about better. 
lazy chunk loading we're going to keep on done and now if we jump into other all of this stuff really doesn't matter except weather weather does cause lag everything else we want to uh, just basically keep the same except autosave autosave is one i like to talk about now autosave by default is two seconds that means it's constantly saving like we're saving 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 and that's going to lag your computer but if you turn it to three minutes you're going to have a little less lag, and you could lose up to three minutes of work in Minecraft. Now, for me, three minutes of work's not bad. For you, maybe that's a big deal. Maybe you wanted to turn it to uh, 20 seconds. Now, if you're having really big lag spikes, about once every three minutes, if you have the autosave set to three minutes, maybe turn that to 30 minutes. But keep in mind, if you put your autosave at 30 minutes, you could lose up to 30 minutes of work in Minecraft. And while three minutes isn't a lot to me, 30 minutes is. So, there you go. Once we click done here, click done again, we can then jump over into single player. Now, this is going to load me into a jungle biome, a notoriously laggy biome, right? At least I thought this was a jungle biome. Is it not? It is not a jungle biome. But, what is my FPS? Now, I have a beast computer, right? I should have really good FPS, and I do. 1,000, over 1,000. It was 1,200 when we turned it on, but right up here in the corner, we can see it, right? Right up there. That is my FPS. You can get that by hitting F3, by the way. So just hit F3 and your FPS shows up in the top left-hand corner of Minecraft. Mine is good to go. What is yours? Let me know in the comment section down below. This video is brought to you by Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to nixgamescom Apex for an awesome deal on Minecraft servers. Additionally, if you have went through this tutorial for some reason and still haven't installed Optifine, that video is on your screen right now. But I hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I make awesome Minecraft and gaming and tech and like motivational videos every Monday through Friday. Last but not least, I'm Nick's Games and I'm out, guys. Peace.